shear modulus. The deformation due to an applied force that works tangential to the surface area is known as shear modulus. The change in the shape does not change the volume of the body. In other words, we can say that if we apply a tangential force to a body, then the body is not the same. Or if I consider an example, like if the body is a rectangular in shape and if we apply the tangential force, that rectangular shape is changed into a parallelogram shape. So basically, there is no change in the volume of the body, but the shape of the body changed from rectangle to the parallelogram. Now let's consider a diagram. So here this is my picture before the deformation and this is the picture when we apply a force F that is tangent to the surface. As you can see the angle due to the deformation is theta. So basically this angle is theta and this is the distance X and the height is now H. So basically this is a right triangle and the angle is theta. So basically we can find the tangent angle of theta. So we can write tangent theta is equal to x over h. Now for a small angles, tangent theta is equal to theta and that is equal to x over h. Now we know that the shear stress of a body is given as shear stress is equal to f over a and the shear strain is given as shear strain is equal to x over h and this is basically tangent theta of the angle. Now let's find the shear modulus. So the shear modulus is also known as modulus of rigidity and that is given as shear modulus is equal to shear stress over shear strain. Now let's substitute the value of shear stress and shear strain and if we do that we will write shear stress is equal to F over A divided by X over H. And we know that X over H is equal to theta. So that is approximately equal to F over A divided by theta. And this is how we define the shear modulus.